fucking with how good it is, they're gonna take a look at Akari. And it's gonna be a pretty hard video to make because there's not anything new in here. It's just a collection of stuff that I've basically talked about before on why a character like this has its uses, but it's not gonna change anything. Basically, if you just take a look at my... I want to say my final title review, but that review was so early that it was actually not representative of the entire character at all. I think my normal title review, I think, was more on the point. Or, better yet, just go to the last last character that I did that wasn't uh, Kyoko, the Doppel Kyoko. Okay? Basically, I'm gonna go through the unit and then I'm gonna tell you what it is about this kind of unit that, you know, is the way it is. So first off, I'm just gonna quick immediately go to the uh, personal. It has blast damage up, it has blast MP gain up. This is the kind of personal that just takes whatever the unit does well currently and adds a little bit more to it. And basically we're gonna see that this part right here doesn't matter at all, so all it does is give 35% blast damage on low attack. So just use any other offensive force of memoria instead. Basically, it's not that amazing. Now the stats are balanced, we have a Blast Gorilla, all three Blasts pointing in the same direction, which is important, that's actually a good thing. Uh, and also defense is pretty alright, HP is decent. So we have some defensive stats here with a bit of a decent attack as well, looks alright so far. Connect is attack up, light attribute attack up, nothing special here, just use this character in a light team. You can kind of see how there's nothing too amazing here. To, fit, to talk about really the uh, at Magia and the Doppel. The Doppel is just the same as the Magia, just a little bit stronger. So we're this is like the second unit in a row, maybe even the third unit in a row, where the Doppel just doesn't really do anything special compared to the Magia. It's just the Magia a bit stronger, which I thought we went. I thought we went past that. I thought we got to the point where Doppels actually did some cool shit that Magias didn't do. But now for like three units in a row, we've gotten to the point where no, we're back there again. We're back where we were years ago. I don't know why. I see, I give defense up to self, light, light attack to self, damage up, blast damage up to self, which is the exact same thing that Magia already does. And it does average different damage in a line, which, yeah, whatever, it won't really matter. The point of this entire thing is it's an okay doppel. Like the uh, buffs from this are totally okay. They would be a lot better if it was for the entire team, but because it's just self buffs, they're just okay. And here's the thing, this is a character that's not going to use Doppel that often and it's going to take quite a long time to even get to the first Doppel. So the fact that the Doppel isn't even that great is already looking pretty shit, to be honest. So let's just ignore the Doppel, let's just assume the Doppel doesn't even exist. Moving on. We have MP gain up, which by the way, we're gonna have, to have a bunch of blast MP up and the MP gain up doesn't actually work for the blast MP gain up. That doesn't actually work, okay? It does not actually work. Do you see that pop up by the way? I'm gonna get rid of this. So the point about the, the blast MP up, the main reason why it's as bad as it is, is simply the fact that the, uh, the blast MP just doesn't increase it. You just have to take whatever it is that you have and you have to just be... That, that's all you have. That's all you have. You have just the blast MP gain from it. End of story. Uh, which on one hand, I mean, if you are on a quest where uh, you have uh, MP down for whatever reason, there are some quests where you do have MP gain down, I think some Kimochi might do this. If you actually ignore the uh, Blast MP up, by the way, you couldn't see this because it wasn't showing up on, uh, on, uh, on screen, but I just used Ad Blocker to block the pop-up you saw all the time. If, an, if an Kimochi or a Witch does MP down to you, you don't actually have to worry about that if you use Blast MP up, because Blast MP ignores MP down. But it ignores MP gain up as well, which means this one, this node right here, is basically fucking useless. Because it does not increase this right here. It sucks. Uh, you do have get some light attribute damage, you get some blast damage, sure, get some damage, okay, it's passive, cool. You get the blast damage up active with damage card active, which some people have said, uh, mostly me, is kind of like Yachio, where you have the damage cut to save yourself and a little bit like Joker as well, where you have the damage cut, uh, the damage up as well on yourself. It's a mixture of the both. Uh, you also have the passive defense up and with the defense up and the damage cut, you think that, hey, if I'm playing this in mirrors, 
For example, I do this turn one, I'm gonna be okay for like at least a turn. But other characters like Yachio do actually have a lot more damage cut. I think Yachio is like upwards of 15, I'm not quite sure actually. But has like way more damage cut. I think Iriachi is like 70% or something. So this is not actually that much. Sure, you have the passive 10%, but even then it's just 35%. You're not really getting that high on the damage cut. And even with the defense up in here, your defense is not going to do too much against like really offensive characters, which most people play. Most people play just not just balanced characters or defensive characters. Most people play offensive characters in mirrors, to which defense does fucking nothing. So... This doesn't actually help that much. It's a lot more important maybe in PvE on tough quests like 100 evils, or 100 evils having 3 turns of damage cut might be pretty good. And 3 turns of blast damage up might be nice because then you get 2 turns probably uh, of use out of this one. Cool. Uh, but in mirrors it's kind of a little bit not enough. It's not enough damage cut, it's not enough blast damage up to actually be useful compared to other characters. And we're already at the point where we can have a sort of verdict about this character. It's a poor man's tart, basically. So you have a blast character that has a decent amount of defense, a little bit balanced, you have some defensives, you have to defense up, you have damage cut. So on one hand, it's a blast character that is defensive, uh, while still having a bunch of offense on the unit uh, as well, a decent amount of offense. It's more, it's a lot more offense than like actually defensive characters like Asuka, for example. But it's just not enough. The MP gain up is not enough, like the blast MP is not enough to actually get to double fast. The only time where this will actually matter is on long quests, like 100 evils. But here's the thing, I need to bring this up every single time. If you're on a long quest where you need to worry about doubles, just play a fucking Axel character. What the fuck are you doing with a blast character on a long quest? I mean, yeah, you can kind of blast your way through it, nice, but you're gonna be so much worse than an Axel character. You're just play an Axel character. There are some places where maybe you can make a point for playing this during the Dark Attribute Witch in uh, Extermination Battles. But even then, just play Excel. Like, Excel. The thing is, this thing, this right here, like Blast MP up is like trying to turn a Blast character into an Excel character, but the Excel character is still like twice as good. So, what's the fucking point? Just give me more damage. Just give me Blast instead. Like, ignore the Blast MP up. Just make me do more Blast because you're never gonna be anywhere close to what an Excel character does. And here's the thing. Oh, but I want to be a jack of all trades. I want to be a blast character who on longer term quests can do doubles. Yeah, but that's shit. Right? I, I, people think that maybe if you're able to do three things really well, that means you're a good character. No, the one character, the character that does one thing really fucking well, that's like, this is a, that is a 10 out of 10 on one specific thing, is gonna be a much better character uh, or like a character that's going to be so much seeing so much more use than a character who does three things at 8 out of 10. It's simply the truth. Check of all traits are shit as fuck in 99% of video games. People, stop trying to make check of all traits work. They don't. Check of the, because the actual the full quote by the way it, it doesn't it doesn't end at check of all traits. The full quote goes check of all traits master of none. Because you, the characters like Akari are the masters of none. Because what do they do? Nothing. They do a bunch of things at like 80% power. Instead of committing to one thing to do 100% power and actually being good. Because here's the thing. Solo Mirrors, she's like the 7th to 8th best character for Solo Mirrors. Which is not good. There's so like regular Kyoko is way better, Summer Kyoko is way better, Mokyu, Yosu, there's so many characters out there. There's so much better. Ashley, Aniyachi, all of those blow Aki out of the water when it comes to solo mirrors. Even regular Yachu is probably better because you can actually use the damage cut to survive a turn. Or with Akari, you might actually die because 25% is not enough. Okay, so sucks for solo mirrors. Farming. For farming, she's not offensive enough because she only has two offensive nodes. She has you just have enough blast damage up, uh, and her personal kind of isn't that great either for that. So uh, for farming, she's not the greatest either. At least she has three blasters in the same direction, which is good for solo stuff. For solo stuff, you want to have two in the same direction, but she's not the greatest for farming either, right? And what else is there? Oh, for longer term quests, you can use the blast MP up. Yeah, but just use excite characters instead, right? She's, she doesn't do the one thing good enough to actually 
use her in that one specific aspect you want to use her for. That said, because she does everything at like an 80% power, I could say she does solo mirrors at 80% power, maybe you just don't have anyone else that actually has more than 80% power for solo mirrors, right? Maybe you don't even have a regular Yachio at level 100 for some, but you probably should. Or maybe you do, but you want to actually be able to win on turn one, which you might be able to do with Akari. Uh, so it kind of depends on what you have or what you don't have. So yeah, I guess if you're on a fresh account, if you're on a fresh account, a character like this is actually really fucking good because if you have, if you are on a fresh account, you kind of need to do everything. You kind of need to do challenge, do main story, do mirrors. Uh, you kind of need to do everything at once when you have a fresh account. And when you do have a fresh account, then yeah, maybe someone who can do everything at once is really good, okay? But that freshness sort of wears off after like one month. So after like one month of playing, you really want to have characters that are actually good at something. So all of that aside though, what else do we have on her Fade Weave? Because this is her Fade Weave review. Oh my god, we have this, which is fucking great because it has 30% attack up on 2300 attack. Wow, that's that's actually pretty good. Wow, amazing. Um, so... Yeah, I don't think there's any there's much else to say about this. There are some other effects on here, like the damage cut and the defense down. Like, yeah, what's that? There, there are places where this matters, okay. There is um, there is mirrors. In mirrors, defense down could actually be used to basically give taunt to someone because enemies might attack the character with a low defense if they have no other super effective target. So yeah, you can kind of use this to try and direct enemy attacks. But for the most part, you're gonna use this because it gives 30% attack up and a whole bunch of attack uh, base. So yeah, for that it's for that it's pretty good. It's an unlimited memoria. So if you just randomly draw this in the gacha, in the SP gacha, you're gonna be really happy about this. It's one of the best ones probably to, to, to draw in the uh, normal gacha. That said, also at the same time, this gets added, and this is... I mean, it gives yourself attack down 25%, and it gives defense up. So also, you could use this in mirrors to guide enemy targets, but not really that important to actually give someone high defense, when it also gives attack down for targeting. Um, gives damage cuts. So yeah, extremely defensive, extremely defensive. But I said this before during the uh, during the news. There's no point when you actually want to be this defensive on any character. Even high defense tanks don't ever want to gimp their own attack this fucking hard for no reason. So uh, yeah, kind of terrible. This is overall terrible. I just want to do mirror shenanigans. Well, this is fantastic, especially for mirror, sh mirror shenanigans. So overall, this Memoria is absolutely great. This is terrible and Akari is... Uh... So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.